Hi, today we're going to work on exercises for the lower back and the upper back and um, talk about best ways to help prevent and manage most back pain. So our first one that we're going to work on um, is called good morning. So you're going to actually have really good posture, okay, meaning feet about shoulder width apart, a little bend in those knees. We never want to lock out the knees. And then you're going to cross your arms on your chest. And this one you can do standing. You're going to take in a nice deep breath in. With the flat back, you're going to bend from the waist. So we're going to do our hip hinge and blow out as far as you can go. And then take in a nice deep breath in as you come up. These are called good mornings. So again, feet shoulder width apart, a little bend in the knees. You're going to engage your core for a flat back. You're going to hip hinge and lower. You should be breathing out as you lower. And breathe in and then out. Exhale again as you stand up. Okay, a second exercise to help with good back health is the hip hinge or the one third of a squat. So to do your hip hinge, if you can, if you can get a stick, just like the one that I have, your feet are going to be shoulder width apart. You're going to take the stick and it should touch the top of your glutes, your back, and then the back of your head. And your chin should be tucked so your ears go over your shoulders, your shoulders go over your hips. Here you're going to take in that nice deep breath, engage the core, and you're going to hip hinge and then bend the knees. Keeping the back flat the whole time. Repeat this 10 times. Okay, let's do this good morning again. Feet shoulder width apart, a little bend in the knees, Arms crossed, nice deep breath in, engaging the core. Doing a hip hinge, bending from the waist. Go down as far as you can. Come back up. Exhaling. And repeat this 10 times. Okay, the third exercise is actually called a bird dog or you can say leg and arm extension. So again, we're gonna go with a flat back. So you should be engaging that core, taking that belly button to the spine. Everything should be lined up. And if you wanna test yourself, you can use your stick again. So in this position, this is what is called a quadruped. Your wrists are underneath your shoulders and your knees are underneath your hips. And as you can see, when you lose alignment, the stick falls off. So the idea is to be able to extend one arm and one leg by engaging the core and keeping the stick. And then you return to the start, still keeping that stick on there. And you're going to switch to the other side so it, you can extend the leg and extend the arm. Engaging that core. If you find yourself not breathing, count one, two, three, and return back to the start. Repeat 10 times on each side. The next exercise is going to be cat cow. So you're going to engage your core, you're going to be in your quadruped situation. So again, wrists are underneath your shoulder, knees are underneath your hips, feet are relaxed in the back. You're going to arch up, 
tucking that chin to the chest. And then you're gonna look up And then you're going to arch up and then you're going to look up. Repeat this 10 times. Okay, the next exercise, we're in our quadruped position again. So engage that core, be stable on all fours. Then you're going to extend your right leg behind you. With your toe on the ground, you're going to press through that toe and then return. Press and return. Press, press through the heel. Keep good posture. You're going to engage your core the whole entire time and return. You're going to bring the other leg back, toe on the ground, press back through that heel, and return. Repeat 10 times on each side. Okay, the next exercise is going to work on shoulder mobility, um, shoulder joint mobility. So if this causes pain at all, or if you've had a shoulder replacement, then you really need to be careful with this one. But you're in your quadruped situation and that helps engage your core and helps engage the back muscles, okay? Just to be in this position. You're gonna bring one arm out and then you're gonna tuck it underneath, trying to get as low as you can and then bring that arm out and tuck it underneath. Keeping that your core engaged, breathing. Repeat this 10 times on each side. Okay, the next exercise is going to be a back extension. So we're actually doing a crunch with the lower back. This should not cause any pain. So you're gonna face the floor. Your arms are gonna be near your side. You're going to raise your arms and then crunch up. And then if you can get a little more of a stretch or a little more of an exercise out of this, then you're going to gently push up on your arms. And as you can see, my feet aren't off the ground and they're nice and re relaxed in the back. And then you're going to return. The key to this exercise is to bring your hands off the ground to interact the lower back first, and then you're gonna push up from there and return and repeat 10 times. The next exercise is called the egg roll. This is one of my favorites. So you're actually going to set your lower back to the ground Okay, that's engaging your core. Again, like someone's punching you in the stomach, your back should be nice and flat. There shouldn't be any area right here. It should be flat. You shouldn't be able to stick your hand underneath there. Okay, with both feet on the floor, you're gonna raise your legs up and gently just hold on the outside of your knees and you're gonna drop one leg down. And as that goes, you're going to bring the other leg over on top. Reset. Might wanna take in a nice deep breath here. Blow it out as you bring that top leg up. And then the bottom leg follows. Notice I do not have a grip on my legs. My legs and my torso and my core are doing all the work. So you're gonna drop that other leg down and the other leg follows. Do this nice and slow. It should be a gentle 
massage to that lower back. Leg comes up, other leg follows, other leg drops down. They come together, reset, bring that top leg up and the other leg follows and then you go to the other side. start from the beginning. You're going to do this 10 times on each side. Okay, next exercise. Again, you're going to engage your core. Your back should be flat on the ground. You're going to grab behind one leg. Bring this into your chest. You can bring the other leg in at the same time and give them a big hug. Notice my hands are on the back of my legs, not on the top of my knees. So behind the legs, bring the, both knees into your chest. Again, we're breathing with this. And gently set it back down on the floor. When you go to set your feet down on the floor, don't let your arch back, don't let your back arch up. Keep it flat, keep it engaged. Again, one leg up, the other, and you're going to bring those knees into the chest. And do this 10 times. Okay, last exercise. We're going to engage our core. We're going to sit up nice and tall. Legs are relaxed. You can have them out in front. You can have them crisscross, whatever is comfortable for you. Then we're going to take in a nice deep breath in and we're going to reach over and we're going to hold one, two, three, four, five, and then you're going to switch. Nice deep breath in, bring the arm over, one, two, three, four and five and relax and we'll just take a nice deep breath in and blow out all the worries smile big you just did a great job